State Representative Jamie Grant loves his Auburn football. Punt Bama punt, Sullivan to Beasley. We remember Bo over the top. So Grant and his buddy and PR guy, Kevin Kate, want Florida to celebrate Auburn on our roads. While Florida does not currently offer license plates for out-of-state schools, they want to change that for the Auburn nation. We're going to file a bill in the Florida legislature to finally have a license tag in the state of Florida that bears the AU logo and says War Eagle. The idea is to give Auburn alumni and fans a way to celebrate their achievements on and off the field. They need 4,000 pre-orders and already have more than 4,000 pledges. And Grant will sponsor the legislation to make this happen next year. Of course, fans of our universities and Auburn's rival Alabama may not like it. No, God, please, no, 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 no! And Jamie Grant and Kevin Kate are already having some fun at Florida and Alabama's expense. So we've registered IWantMyFloridaAuburnPlate.com, which is long enough for Alabama fans to not be able to troll it. If they can't spell it, they can't poison this particular tree. So we'll have some fun with Kevin and try to push his buttons in tonight's spotlight. Okay, well, Kevin, thank you for joining us. Thank and I have friend. to say, the, bringing these Auburn plates to Florida does make some sense, given the popularity of the program. What, you're the reigning national champs. You beat Clemson in a thriller. <laughs> You've got so many great players who have come through. Julio Jones, all the way back to Namath and Stabler. It just makes sense. I, I just wish we would have filmed this before that Clemson game, or maybe I would have been thrown in as quarterback as the sixth quarterback. We would have had a better chance. Oh, wait a minute. So that, that, was, that wasn't you? The, no, 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 no. Oh, that was, <laughs> oh, that was Bama. Yeah, well, but 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 wait, people, but, but, but people who still, like Alabama okay. get get confused very easily. So I, I see. But you did. You won. You won the BCS in 2014 against Florida State. <laughs> no, you know I, I teach a class on earned media <laughs> no. at Florida State. This is Exhibit A, apparently. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, well, seriously, you, you've got. Uh, you know, why not bring the plates? You've got the legendary coach. He's won what five national championships already. I'm sure your producer Robin is enjoying this so yeah. far, but she's probably the only one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only okay. One. So that was that was the other guy. Uh, seriously, who, who's your coach? Uh, Gus Malzahn. Gus, that's right. It, what you, like a high school coach? He was at one oh, at one time. I'll, I'll remind you though uh, that Auburn has produced some extraordinary achievements. Uh, Tim Cook, the CEO of the largest company in the world, the greatest company in the world, uh, that it looks like you're holding a product of his in your hand right now. Okay, we've got some, some questions now from some folks in our newsroom. I want to start off with a question for you from Marissa. Sure. So if this whole Auburn tag thing doesn't work out here in Florida, how about we get a good old Gators tag? How about that? They're actually from the state of Florida, huh? I appreciate Marissa. She looks like a, a Gator fan. Uh, she may already know there is a Gator plate available. Oh, there is. She may be just still despondent and not be able to reconcile her world because Tim Tebow was never able to beat my Auburn Tigers when he was supposedly a good quarterback, although yeah. he's a baseball player now, apparently. Uh, but there is a Gator tag yeah. in Florida already. Yeah. There's also a Gator oh, wait, tag. So, so there's a Gator tag already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, absolutely. Okay, so it's already here. People can get that. So if people do get the Auburn plate and people start laughing, can they upgrade to the Florida Gator plate? Uh, well, you would have to be able to have something to laugh about, I suppose, and uh, the Gators uh, don't have much to laugh about uh, other than their football team. Let's go to a question now from Kevin O'Donnell. I think it's only fair if Auburn is accepted in the state of Florida that they trade off and take a USF tag and go to Alabama. Why not? I think that sounds like a smart idea, and USF, of course, had a good football team for one or two years. Uh, they since don't have a good football team. However, Alabama, um, that's a great idea. I know that there are UF and FSU tags available all over the country. You can go to Texas and get a tag if you want to. So I think it makes sense. That's a good compromise from you, Craig. Thank you for that, to allow uh, Florida tags in the state of Alabama. And we'll get right to work on that. Let's move on to Chris Cato. I think he's got, I don't know if it's a question or more of a comment. I can easily give you five reasons why Auburn supporters might want a Florida specialty plate. Number five, they think a specialty plate is something you order at Waffle House. Uh, number four, they want to remind Florida State fans who the Knowles beat for the 2013 National Championship. Uh, number three, they want to remind Florida where Will Muschamp earned his master's degree. Uh, number two, they heard that tractors here in Florida might need license plates. Number one, being on a car in Tampa is as close to making it to this year's National Championship game as Auburn will come. I think maybe he's got a point. 
I think that uh, he's, he's misinformed. I think Alabama fans have a tendency to overestimate their achievements. Um, yes, they've done some good things on the football field, and we're uh, human enough to admit that Alabama has been good. But I come from a time when Tommy Tuberville put up six fingers and we beat Alabama six, six years in a row, and we hoped at one point they'd have their football program back again. And certainly signing a deal with the devil of Nick Saban helped them do that. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. And now, tongue in cheek throughout the whole interview, let's take it serious now. More than 4,000 people have pledged. What does it take, and what are the chances of this actually happening? Representative Jamie Grant, who could possibly be a future Speaker of the House here in Florida, went to Auburn. He was part of my class. He is going to file legislation in the 2017 legislative session, A, so we can have hilarious conversations like this, but B, to get that Auburn license plate in Florida. We've seen Florida plates all over the country. It's time to bring an uh, Auburn plate to uh, the state of Florida. We've got more than 4,000 people already committed to sign it up, which was ma would make it one of the most popular uh, collegiate tags that we have in the state of Florida because everybody loves Auburn. War Eagle, we are a family and we believe it and we can make it happen. Thank you, Jamie Grant, for, for doing this for us. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs>